Alright, well, uh, just hopped out the shower. It's 6.13. Um, I didn't really want to do one this morning because I was just relaxing. My girlfriend's going to be coming back tomorrow at 5 a.m. She'll be in town by 5 p.m. That's when she'll probably be back. Then uh, we're going to get all the stuff in the car. You already got done putting everything in the car, so that's why there's nothing there. Pretty much nothing there. All I have left to put in the car is the poster, ears, the uh, guitar, and then everything on top of the desk, which isn't that much, but I want to make sure her stuff gets in first so that I can angle this properly and won't jack that up. But, uh, my face, as you can see, has gotten a lot better. Up here, it doesn't feel swollen, but like right here, like I can feel the lump still, and right here. But it's really small, so I'm pretty sure within the next couple days, it should be all gone. Um, I can still feel the string from the stitches, but I think those are going to come out soon also. Because they've gotten longer, but then they've also dissipated. So I think they're the ones that dissolve. Because um, the dentist hasn't even at, like, called to take them out, so I'm guessing they just dissolve on their own. What's going on? Um, I'll check in again later on tonight. And okie dokie, goodbye. It's 2.37. And the strangest thing just happened to me. So one thing about me is that I have a terrifying fear of ghosts and paranormal activity. And the scariest thing just fucking happened to me right now. I am having a very weird dream in this weird world, but like, I can control it. So I know what time I'm going, like, these weird things are trying to chase me. Like one ate me, but like I restarted, I turned it into a video game. So I restarted and turned again, and I got around it. So other, you know, weird like, like chairs and stuff. They're just, they're just trying to get me. I was like going through this maze, and I find this guy. Earlier in my dream, I met this guy. Like we're in like the underworld or something like that, and I defeat him. Like we were like we were once cool, but then he just started getting crazy, so I had to shut him down, and I ended up escaping. He's there again. No hard feelings, I guess. Because he didn't want to escape. He wanted to become the leader. I wanted to escape. So, yo, what you wanted to come? What I wanted to end up back. I just, like, accepted being there or something like that. It was weird. I started playing some more games. Having fun. And then, like, ended up in this hyper-real game where it was, like, people going against each other. And if it, it felt like I was actually playing games with a mic in, you know, people are yelling over it. Like, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I'm, I'm like, half asleep. So, like, it's more like a daydream. Because I'm not fully asleep. So I, I guess you could say I was lucid dreaming. I, I guess like a bloater like throws something at the guy's face and kills him because he couldn't escape fast enough. It's kind of funny. So he dies and then like, it's like, oh damn, he lost. Oh, some shit like that. Like sound starts coming in my left ear. And it's saying something to me. I'm like making it out. Oh, bless up or something like that. Just fucking around. Like, uh, but then like. I started getting serious like, wait, this isn't part of the dream, this is actually real. At least I think it was. I don't know, it could, be, it could have been part of the dream. It started getting louder and louder, and it just got louder and louder. And as it got louder, it got a little bit clearer, until it became like a full-on scream, just into my ear, and it hurt like shit, and like I couldn't, my body couldn't move. Like, I was completely still. Like, I, I tried to like, scream but I couldn't it was like I was like half asleep and then all I could let out was like a uh, and then it stopped and now I'm like scared as fuck I I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight